Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to make the bananas from the banana farm worth more. I'm going to be using BTD Toolbox for this video, but you can use any of the other methods I've covered. And this is going to work for any of the games, so it's going to work for Battles, BCD5, or Monkey City. If you're confused about anything, please watch the intro video to this playlist, because I kind of break down everything and it should be able to help you out. But let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our weapon definitions folder and look for the banana farm. If you're not using toolbox, just look for the folder. So now we're at the banana farm dot weapon. This is where we change the cost or how much money we get. All right, so I'm just going to scroll down a little bit until I see collectibles as one of the types. Uh, just a little bit of side info. You can change the graphic name so it looks like something other than a banana. If you change the duration, it's how long it stays there. Uh, speed decay is how how fast it decays until it disappears. Collection radius is how close to your mouse it has to be in order to be collected. I'm guessing speed is how fast it gets shot out. Um, and keep on screen seems like it would be after it's been shot out, keep it on screen. I suppose if you wanted to make a mod where all your old darts would just stay on screen after you fired them, it seems like this would be that, which might actually be kind of a cool mod. Anyways, for this video, we're changing the price of the bananas for the banana farm. So it's this spot right here, the money range. If you wanted, you can also change the monkey, multi sorry, the money multiplier. The valuable bananas upgrade that the banana farm has, which is I think the second on the right path, changes the money multiplier. As you can see right here, it changes the money multiplier from one to 1.5. Now, if you remember, the valuable bananas um, makes it go from worth 40 to worth 60, which is a 20 uh, cash increase. This is, this is gonna sound complicated, but basically if it increases the value by 0.5 by 50%, 50% of 40 is 20. So 40 plus 20 is 60. So hopefully I didn't make that too complicated, but yeah. So you can change either one of these. I think that the money range is kind of like the base value and money multiplier is how much it multiplies the value. Over the course of the banana farm upgrades, it really seems to only be changing uh, the amount that it's producing and only on the fourth upgrade on the left side the banana research factory does it change the value otherwise it's either making more bananas or it's just multiplying the value but yeah so hopefully that's enough for you guys to uh, do something cool i'm gonna go ahead and raise this to um let's go like way too much money also, let's change this from a multiplier of 1 to 10, because let's see what happens. Also, I'm going to go ahead and change the count from 2 to 20, because why not? Also, I want to say that uh, with the total amount, that's how much you're going to have this round and how much is made every round. Um, also, the numbers like this where it says wait time range and it has two values. In this case, it's 0 and then 2. That means it'll take between this amount of time for it to fire, basically. Um, so it could be zero and it could be two. Uh, similarly with the um, money range, if I set this to zero and then this one to, I think that's a hundred thousand. That's uh, almost a million. Uh, basically I'd get anywhere between zero and that number. But we're not trying to do that. We're trying to do something cool. So let's just leave it like that. And I'll see you guys in game. All right, so we are in game. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what happens. It's already producing a lot of them. And wow, those are worth a lot of money. That is crazy. Let's just see if we can survive this like ridiculous round. Um, I always like this one here. Let's see here. Uh, I think that's good. That shouldn't do enough nuking. Right, but yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. That is how you uh, raise the cost on that. So if you guys wanted to change the amount that you get from the bananas as an upgrade rather than change it by default, here's what you guys do. First, remember that there are two uh, weapons in the banana farms weapon definition. There are two of them. 
the way that the game counts these is starting at zero rather than one, like normal. So this is the zero weapon and this is the one weapon. And if we had four more, then it would be the, the uh, second weapon, the third weapon, the fourth weapon, and the fifth weapon. Basically, take the total number of weapons and subtract one. And that's what number it is. And that's important for this. Go ahead and scroll up and go to the upgrade definitions and open up the banana farm dot upgrades. You'll see right here it's saying that it has a weapon upgrade in slot zero. This is referring to the zero weapon, which is the banana farm dot weapon, the weapon we were editing earlier. And then below that is slot index one, which is the weapon in the one position, which I believe is the monkey bank. So what this is saying is it's saying we're going to do a weapon upgrade in the weapon that's in slot zero. We're going to adjust the total amount to one. So weapon in slot zero is the banana farm dot weapon. We're going to adjust the total amount to one. So let's see what total amount is total amount here. Well, the total amount was originally two. I think it uh, either increases. Yeah, so I just double checked uh, when it does uh, an adjust, it's just gonna add or subtract whatever this number is. So we're adjusting the total amount by one, that means it's gonna add one. So if we go back here, normally it's set to two, adjust one is gonna adjust it by one, which makes it three. Anyways, this is an example of how you would change the amount of bananas that come out. To change the money range, it's gonna seem a little more complicated at first, but it'll make sense in a moment. Technically, this is a type of projectile. It's a collectibles, so it's a type of thing that comes out of a tower. So it's, again, like a projectile. It's also inside this task thing here. The way BTD recognizes these types of things when you're making upgrade changes is by uh, operations like, let's see here, I believe, this it is a task upgrade and we're selecting by type so remember we have a task upgrade here's our tasks and we're selecting by a type collectible so remember here's our task oops and here's our collectible this is also in slot index zero which is the zero weapon which is the banana farm so it's saying get the zero weapon we're gonna do a task upgrade. We're gonna select by type collectible, and then we're gonna replace money range. Looking at that again, we have our zero weapon, which is the banana farm. We're gonna click on it and it says, we're gonna do a task upgrade. We're gonna select by type collectible, which means we're picking this spot right here, the type that has collectible in it. And we're gonna replace whatever's in money range with the thing in our upgrades, which is right here. So hopefully that makes sense on how that works. It seems a little bit confusing, but that's just how the game identifies different tasks. Let's say that we made a mod that uh, made our banana farm shoot darts as well. Well, how does the game know, you know, which one to do the change in? We have one that's type collectible and then we have one that's type projectile. Like what's the difference? So you would just uh, do it that way. Select by type collectible, select by type projectile. We would be doing the same thing if we wanted to change the money multiplier. So here is the valuables banana upgrade and just like before you can see it's selecting the zero weapon which is the banana farm. It's saying we're going to be doing a task upgrade. Select by type collectible which is basically selecting the banana weapon or the bananas that you see on the ground. And we're going to replace the money multiplier with 1.5. There it is. And if we look back at the banana farm dot weapon, which is the zero weapon, it says we're going to do a task upgrade. So it's telling us we're doing something inside the tasks. We're going to select whatever's the collectible type and we're going to replace the monkey multiplier with the number in our upgrade. So we're going to not just add, we're going to totally get rid of this current number and replace it with the number we defined in our upgrades, which is 1.5. And if you wanted to change how long the bananas survive, you would just do the same thing. We would do a uh, task upgrade. We would select by type collectible and we would change duration. So if you wanted to add to the duration, you would just do adjust duration. If you wanted to totally change the duration, you would do replace duration. If you need examples on exactly what that looks like, just look inside the banana farm upgrades. You can see that what that looks like. 
Here's an example in uh, Banana Plantation. It's adjust, and this is what it looks like. You're saying we're gonna do adjust, and then it has the name of the thing you want to adjust with a colon and then the number you want to adjust it by. And replace works exactly the same. But yeah, that is how you change the value of the bananas. We showed how to do it through the weapon file, so it's changed by default, and we showed how to do it by an upgrade, so you guys can do it as an upgrade. I hope this wasn't too complicated, and I hope you guys can learn something cool. Thanks for watching.